Hey, what's up everyone? So a few people asked about my lighting. There's really no trick in it. Uh, as you can see, I have one light and then a bounce card over here. I have this piece of styrofoam with a few holes in it. That's going to give my light. My idea is here to have it look like a tomb with some light shining through the walls, giving Indiana enough light to see what he's doing but not light up the entire room because I want that atmosphere. I always use atmosphere aerosol in like pretty much every one of my shots, uh, even if it's just enough to get some mist in there. Using atmosphere aerosol will brighten up the image, so you do have to keep that in mind. My ISO is 100. I've never really changed that. I've always shot at 100. Um, that's just my preference. My f-stop is 7.1. I don't really like the background to be too blurry. Uh, my idea is to have it a little bit with the details so you can see all the accessories. And then my shutter speed is six at the moment. I shoot at a higher shutter speed, sometimes with one light. I've shot it with a 30 second shutter speed because that's just how I shoot. I don't know, that's just what I enjoy doing setting up my scenes like this with a higher shutter speed so I could get capture more light in a room with just one light. Uh, all right, so with that being said, you can see the with the small holes, you're basically gonna move the light around to get that sweet spot. You can see as the light will move in the frame on the screen. You know, there's, there's really nothing to go by. You, I guess you can look at movies or a scene or get that an idea in your mind on how something is going to be lit. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's where I'm getting my ideas from. Um, th things from movies. On That's basically my lighting. Is looking at scenes in movies and seeing how those are lit or shows. And that's where I get my ideas from for lighting. Um, and then everything else is basically just ideas either that come to mind or like this Indiana. I mean, you know who he is and he is going to be in these tombs and in these situations. So that's the lighting. And then I just want to walk through the setup. So I'm going to turn this on. Shut off my camera and move that out of the way. So when setting up a scene, there's a few things you want to take into account. You don't want to just like the sand on the ground. I put my fingers through it to make it look like it was disturbed. Now, if Indiana were to walk into a tomb and walk all over the sand, obviously it's going to be disturbed. So if you just dump it, if you just took the picture with sand like this, it would really wouldn't look like. So you do want to keep into the small details. Some people have taken pictures of a figure on a beach, but the figure's just standing there in the sand or in the snow or in dirt. But it got there somehow. So maybe you could just take another figure or that figure and put some footsteps there. Those are the small details I like. The same thing with the pots. I didn't just place them. After I placed them, I dumped sand on top of it to make it look like it's been there for a while. Maybe some wind got in here and blew things around, broken pots, everything has some kind of sand on it. It's not just sitting there on top of everything. I'm trying to make it look like it's been weathered or the scene has some kind of element of weather going through it. Um, this was here, if you look back in the frame, this was here because it was blocking. If I didn't have this here, it, you'd be able to see the holes and the foam board, which obviously you don't want. Um, that's about it. Let me take you closer on the setup. You can see all the details that I'm kind of paying attention to. I did throw that block in there. It's looks out of place here but in the frame it was a little bit blurry and it kind of looked like it was maybe just a block fell from the ceiling or something like that or 
that's one on a box that fell from the wall to give you that appearance of these holes for the light to come in. And then I threw sand on top of everything to give it, again, that feel that it is a tomb that's ancient, that's been around for a while. It's not just fresh, it's been weathered, the wind's been blowing in and blowing the sand around, that's why things are broken and whatnot. Even though Indiana may be the first one to come to it in a long time, it's still been touched by the elements. I'm using a Luma Cube. I like the Luma Cubes because of the control I have through the app on my iPhone and a bounce card over here. Now these blocks are from Amazon. They're individual blocks. Arc Kid Tech. They let me build that wall. They come in different sizes, smaller ones, as you can see, and then skinnier ones too. And then these monuments I found on Amazon as well. And these will be linked to on my Instagram page and in my uh, bio, my Amazon. These scrolls I made by just scrolling up some parchment paper rolling up some parchment paper. I can't focus. And then wrapping some, uh, I don't know, wax twine, I think it was, around it. And then I burned it with a match or uh, just to kind of give it a weathered look. These small pots I found on Amazon as well. One I just busted to have pieces lying around. These were from Amazon as well. I mean, I did like the statue that we got with the Four Horsemen figure. I just wanted a gold one. These came in a pair. And then these monuments, of course, I don't know that I said already. They're from Amazon. This is the SH Figure Arts Indiana. And then that's it. All right, hopefully this helps everyone or anyone with setting up and how I do lighting. And again, to top it off, I personally always use atmosphere aerosol to give you that nice atmosphere. Um, I was going to throw some dust in there. I may do that in post. Not quite sure yet, but I like it the way it is after. So, all right. Thanks for watching.